What are your goals for this year coming up? I'd say the big goal is just to make my major league debut this year. All the wins that you had, especially against Somerset, which felt like such a big series, knowing it's the Yankees affiliate, and you guys beat them. How much fun was that for you guys? I think it was awesome, especially since they're the Yankees, they're the rivals. That was my first playoff experience in Pro Bowl. We all gelled really good together. How many stolen bases this year? You know, it's gonna be the same until I reach it, so it's always gonna be 70. Welcome to Future of Flushing. I'm Vito Calisi. This is Jonathan Barron. And we're back with our, I think, first or second guest we ever had on the show. All the way over there. Now the boys are over here. We're here with Jet Williams. Jet, how's it feel to be wearing that jersey and over at this side of camp? You know, it's great. I mean, feel very blessed and honored to be over here. Uh, like I've always said, just don't take it for granted. You did something last year that no Met has done since David Wright. Back in 2002, were you born in 2002? 03. Oh, three. three. So not even, Jet wasn't even born yet. His parents hadn't come up with the name Jet. And that was leading the organization in walks. You drew 104 walks. When you think to have your name in that company with David Wright, one of the best players to ever wear that jersey, how does that make you feel? You know, very honored. Uh, you know, just being in a great category. <laughs> just being in a great category with David Wright. Uh, you know, I think it's very special just with our names side by side. Uh, you know, I think, I mean, I'm sure his jersey is going to get retired here and hopefully be a Hall of Famer. So, you know, just very honored to be in the same category as him. Now, last year, we talked about this nightly on Future of Flushing. Your OBP, you're basically on base half the time. You told us before the season you had incredible goals. One of those goals was to seal 70 bags. What are your goals for this year coming up? And you still have that goal board. Yes, I still have the goal board. Um, you know, just first and foremost, just be healthy. Uh, healthy the whole year again. I think that's just, if you can't, you can't move up if you're not healthy. Um, I'd say the big goal is just to make my major league debut this year. Uh, you know, I feel like it's definitely gonna be a hard goal, but I feel like I can do it. That was on his goals last year when we talked to you about that. Well, if you don't sell lofty goals, you're never gonna get anywhere, yeah, right, Chet? for sure. You did kind of shoot up the system quickly last year. You started here in St. Lucie, you went to Brooklyn, and then you ended the year in Binghamton. How did you seemingly get better as you advanced in competition? Uh, you know, I mean, I started here. Um, I started slow for the first couple of months. Um, you Your OBP was still like 410, which is elite. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just had, uh, I mean, I looked back at my swings from high school and kind of just was in the right groove, wasn't feeling comfortable. Um, you know, I just kind of made a little few adjustments, came here at one day, got here real early, like 7.30, um, hit for two and a half hours before, just kind of not going overboard and crazy with it, just trying to feel that swing. Um, that day I ended up hitting a home run and triple. Kind of just getting back to the high school swing, and then ever since then, I just feel like I just progressed and got better every every single day and just every single time I moved up. What were the biggest differences that you perceived going from low A to high A and then high A to double A? Because when you were in double A, you joined the Rumble Ponies right when they pretty much clinched. Right. And then you played in the postseason and you hit a massive home run, which was electric, by the way. We'll talk about that in a bit. But yeah, what were the differences like between the leagues? I mean, I feel like in low A, was everybody was young. Um, I feel like the pitching was kind of wild. Um, you know, for the most part, it was, it was fun out here, hot. Uh, Very hot, right? Muggy, gross. But I would say going into high A, it was almost, they threw so many strikes um, for my, I guess, opinion and aspect of the game. Um, you know, for me, it was, you're gonna get a pitch to hit. Uh, I feel like the first week or so, I feel like the first couple of games, I kind of started noticing that. Um, you know, they're two strike. It's either they're gonna try to make you chase, and if they, you don't chase, then they're gonna throw a strike. So I feel like that was the biggest jump, was a lot more strikes. Uh, I think for me, it was too many strikes. And, you know, I think I kind of just recognized that and just went from there. And then double A was pitching got better. Defense got, everything got better. Um, I think it was more enjoyable just because it was more competitive. Not that the other leagues weren't. I think it was just better ba better baseball up there. Um, just a lot less errors, just more clean baseball, and it was just more fun. Do you like games? Sure. All right, it's a word association game. So I'm gonna show you a few pictures, and I want you to tell me what you think they all have in common. All right. That's one. Okay. That's another one. Do you have any guests so far? No, I have no idea. They're all jet. They're all famous they're all, jets. They're all jets. The hockey one, did, did that one 
Did you have any clue or no? That was my idea. No, I just saw the plane, and then once you all show, like, showed me the picture of me, I was like, okay, I'd do something with the jet. Well, we got another game. It's called Meet the Met. Um, we're going to throw some things out there, and you just kind of tell us what your, what your feelings are on them. So the first one is, what is your go-to emoji to use? Depends who I'm sending emojis to. If you're sending an emoji to... Uh... I'll, give you, I'll give you an example. Yeah, okay. I have a go-to emoji. Okay. My go-to emoji is the gorilla, the orangutan. It's like this. That's my, like... That's let's my, like, it. let's that's get it. Let's or get that's it. my, like, you ask me a question, it's like my, like, stone face. Like, it's just, I send the gorilla to everything. If you and Drew Gilbert are having a text conversation, what, what emoji are you using in that combo? Oh. I mean... He's on the way, though, so... Yeah. Um, honestly... I'm probably going to use a lot of emojis. Many emojis. Yeah, just right. because he's a little crazy. And he's always <laughs> attacking me in every which way. Attacking you? How so? Uh, he's just always saying something. I'm sure he'll say something on the podcast. We'll definitely um, ask him. Yeah, I mean, that's our but, job is to get those sound yeah, bites. Yeah, uh, you know, I think we have a good relationship enough that we can joke around with each other, which is fun. Um, even though we just met one time before this, and then it was just kind of like we kind of clicked and everything. So. Yes, you were looking at colleges, and Tennessee was one of the schools that you were visiting, and they linked you up with an athlete, and who was the guy that you got linked yeah. up with? Uh, Gilbert, he was my host. Um, How'd that go? It was honestly great. I mean, he's going to probably give me a hard time for the rest of my life. Or, but, you know, it was great. I mean, we did everything there, showed me around and everything. He showed you the library, right? No. He showed... <laughs> <laughs> you, he's right over there. we got to ask him about this. Oh, yeah, he's, I'm sure he'll say something. <laughs> but, uh, um, but yeah, he took me around and everything, and he still is mad at me for not committing there. So you went pro though, so uh, yeah. he's got to understand. Yeah, he was. I think he was proud of me. I, I'd hope so. Um, but then you guys think, wound up right here together. Yeah, and now I have to deal with him for a while. Hopefully for a very long time. Yeah. You guys are two of the highest ranked uh, prospects in the Mets system right now. Just what's it been like to be embraced by Mets fans the way that you have? I think it's awesome. Um, you know, I think that being put in this type of spotlight and I think it's just good for us. Uh, I think that, I think we have one of the best farm systems. Uh, I think it's fun to come to the field every day, especially with guys like Drew and Acuna and just the top prospect guys. Just it makes it more fun to come to the field every day. Um, a lot of competition and everything. And it's just always fun to be around Drew. You guys playing in the playoffs together all the wins that you had, especially against Somerset, which felt like such a big series, knowing it's the Yankees affiliate, knowing that they had won more games than any other minor league team in all the minors, and you guys beat them. How much fun was that for you guys? I think it was awesome, especially since they're the Yankees, they're the rivals. Um, you know, that was my first playoff experience in Pro Bowl, and especially being in Double A, I I think that we all gelled really good together. I think that we were all a team I think it was just, we all came to the field and it was just, we all got along the clubhouse. It was unbelievable in there. Um, and then you had guys like Drew that made everything interesting and fun. So I think everybody was relaxed and that's why kind of we went that far. Have you seen the Mighty Ducks movies? I haven't. God, because we asked Drew of Mighty Ducks. Remember that, Drew? Mighty Ducks question in Somerset on the, on the concourse yeah, there? I yeah. I might have just like lied. Okay, <laughs> I, I, we got the sense that you lied. <laughs> <laughs> Where does the sky start? Do you think the sky starts down here at the floor, or do you think the sky starts up high? I think it starts up high. It's an introspective. But then point. why? Like, where does it start then if it starts up high? I think that, I mean, they always say the sky is the limit. Yeah, but for an ant. We're not talking about ants, we're talking about people. Damn. He's got you there. You got me there. He's got you there. You, All right. you made me look like <laughs> a fool. <laughs> I think you set yourself up. What's your. <laughs> What's your go-to burrito order? Go-to burrito order. Breakfast or lunch or dinner. Whatever whatever you're in the mood for. Is there a difference between a lunch and a dinner one? Yeah. Tell me the difference between a lunch and a burri uh, dinner burrito. Um, These are hard-hitting questions. Yeah, they are. Honestly, it just depends on what I'm feeling that day. Uh, usually for breakfast, it's always going to be some sort of eggs. Probably a little bit of potatoes, bacon. Um... Maybe some hot sauce in there. We have this place, and they have the best ranch back at home. So you throw in some ranch on there. Uh, lunch, I mean, it's either going to be either or. It's never the same. It's either 
Lunch is going to be steak or chicken, and then dinner is going to be steak or chicken and the burrito. You're going to be playing a few different positions in the year coming up. What are you the most excited to do? What are you the most excited to experiment with? I think I'm just excited to play everywhere. Um, I think I'm excited to play at the highest level, um, especially being in double A. Uh, starting off there with great competition, and you know, I think I'm most excited just to be on the field, honestly, um, playing each and every position, I think. And I think it's the blessing to finally probably be able to get to practice center field. I've just been thrown out there. And I think that I, the more practice I do, the better I'll get. Honestly, at second, short, center, wherever they put me. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. How many stolen bases this year? You know, it's going to be the same until I can't, uh, until I reach it. So it's always going to be 70. Um, you know, number one goal is to be in the big leagues. Um, honestly, it, no matter what, uh, I, I mean, it doesn't really matter what month. Um, it's just as long as I'm up there. And then that's honestly the big goal. I mean, I've had little short goals to try to lead up to it. So that's the big one. And you and Drew will face, FaceTime every night, right? Um, Until you guys no, meet. No, probably not. No, OK. No, I'm going to have to deal with them too much <laughs> in spring training. So. <laughs> Thanks so much, Jet. Yep, thank you.